Now that we looked at the schematic, let's start looking at some of the programming to understand how they work together. Okay, up in our definitions, this is what I've defined. VN is 0. That's analog to digital pin 0. VBAT is defined as 1. That goes to analog to digital 1. What I call I output is defined as 2. That reads on analog to digital converter 2, it will read the ACS 712 current sensor which I'll show you how that works a little bit later in the video. LED1 is going to be connected to digital pin 12. LED2 is going to be connected to digital pin 3. All right. Charge ON, that's charge and a capital ON, has been defined as 11. In this model, the LED that's connected at 11 is merely a indicator. It doesn't switch on anything. It, when it goes low, it switches on the LED. Same thing as 10 and 12 above. When they are sent low, the corresponding LED will light up. Now we're going to defa define power enable as 3. That's going to be digital pin 3. Digital pin 3 is nice in a way too because we can also use its pulse width modulation function on the uh, p-channel power MOSFET. Yep, we can also we can uh, pulse width modulate the transistor by doing this. If we really have a down battery that's going to draw a lot of power, by cutting down the duty cycle on the pulse width modulation, I limit the current uh, load on the solar panels. And it is really a good idea with a lead acid battery to slowly charge it than trying to fast charge it. When you fast charge a lead acid battery, you will shorten its life. So I've defined the word full as 255. That, okay. Um, 255 will cut the pulse width modulation. It's 100%. It just switches on. Okay, half is defined as 128. Um, remember, the pulse width modulation in the Arduino is an 8-bit value from 0 to 255. So basically, 255, 100% on, 128, it's half on, quarter or 64 is about 1 fourth on, and off, which is designed as 0, is totally off. Okay, I skipped the setup section. Well, I haven't done that yet. I got a few more things that I need to define. In this case, it's an integer value CH on equals 5000. That is, if I use it in the Arduino delay, delay 5000, it'll have a charge on time of 5 seconds. And I've also defined another integer value CH off as 2000, it'll be off two seconds. The idea is to cycle the charge current on for whatever time you choose. It doesn't have to be 5000 or 2000, whatever you decide it wants to be. It cycles it on and then it cycles it off. It checks the charge on the battery to see do I need to cycle it back on again. Then we have another integer definition, CP, it's what I call the charge point variable. I determine this, it's the, when you do the two resistor dividers that went to analog 0 and analog 1 to read VN and V battery, they will return with an integer value from 0 to 1023. Really the range is going to be more like 0 to probably 600 because of the voltage dividers that I used. By experimentation, I set a charge point of 310. Now you may have to experiment with that if you build this. Your resistor values might be a little different. 
What charge point does? It sets the battery charge voltage. Because what's going to happen when I read analog to digital um, 1, it's going to return a value from whatever to 600. It's going to be compared to charge point. If it comes back 311, that, charge the Ar that tells the Arduino, hey, the battery is charged. For the most part, as I've found experimentally, it's going to be from 300 to 340. Depends on what your particular system does. Let's move to the next page. All right. This is where we're going to start. This is how this differs from my older solar panel charge. This, this is a new version. I've also I've installed um, serial print routines in this so you can use Arduino's serial monitor you can check to see what VN actually is yep it tells you the charge point in this case serial dot print in quotes CP equals space and then it's going to print the charge point and go to a new line this integer X, which was defined earlier in the program and I didn't show you, is going to read, do an analog read on VN, which we defined as zero. So it's reading analog read zero. Then it will print the value of X. Then it will print three spaces. It will print, uh, in quotes, VN space equals space and then it's going to do a calculation serial dot print line so it'll go to a new line x times a multiplier value that I worked out by measurement of 0 0.041 you will see shortly in the uh, slide what will be displayed on the Arduino serial monitor so the first thing I had to do of course was read uh, VN to figure out what my voltage input was. Next, I'm going to use an integer value Y. I'm going to read analog read VBAT. Okay, it does the same thing as before. It's going to return a value, uh, an integer value somewhere between 200 and 600, I suppose. Um, and this value will be compared to charge point to determine does Arduino keep charging the battery some more or do I go into shutdown and light up the green LED that tells me um, that the battery is charged. Oh, let me go back one slide. On VBAT here you'll see it a little if you don't have uh, say the solar panels are disconnected or the switch is thrown the wrong way analog read X will come back as zero and Arduino will know something's wrong with the input automatically and will light up the red LED as we will see in a few slides down now there's Y and let's go to the next slide alright we are doing nothing here but a simple if function first of all we're going to compare X. X is V is um, V in. That's the voltage from the solar panels. If X is less than charge point, if it's less than charge point, it can't charge the battery, and so it's going to take LED one low. That is, the red LED will light up, telling me automatically, "Hey, something's messed up on the voltage input." else the only other way it can be it can be equal to charge point or greater than charge point and then it will leave LED one high off and it just be you just don't have the red on the next thing that this will check this is the green LED okay Y is the value from the battery it's going to be compared to charge point if it's greater than charge point then LED2, which in this case is the green LED, the digital um, pin that corresponds to LED2 will go low, the green LED will um, 
come on says hey the battery is charged wonderful if it's not if Y is less than or equal to charge point the green it's all charged LED will remain high and thus off remember the LED on means the battery is charged and the output will to LED has to be to that LED to the green one will have to be low all right let's move on now we come to what is um, decides whether we're going to cut on the charge current or just skip it it's a compound if statement that checks three conditions and all three conditions must be true or this entire section is skipped and it just uh, stays in the off cycle in order to cut on the uh, power to charge the battery that is switch on our uh, p-channel MOSFET we have to meet these three conditions X has to be greater than Y well that makes sense the battery um, the solar panel voltage coming in has to be greater than the battery you're charging or it won't charge Y which is your battery has to be less than or equal to charge point remember if you set a charge point for 310 and the battery is at 311 you don't need to cut the on cycle on again and thus it will fail and skip this and the third condition it will check is that X that's your input from your solar panel that voltage is greater than charge point if it meets if it fails any of these three conditions and it has to be a this is an a uh, logical and statement a and B and C are all true true and true and true it enters into the condition is met and this is what happens skip the CH on equals CP minus Y for a minute let's look at what happens first I'm going to turn on the charge LED that's going to be the yellow one that you saw back in the schematic um, oops typo there that should have been charge on ah forgive the typo either way it's going to take it low and the charge LED will come on uh, and we will do an analog write to power enable that's digital pin 3 full I'm just going to switch it on full so my uh, power MOSFET is simply cut on like a switch now I'm going to do a serial print CH on equals space then I'm going to serial print CH on and then I'm going to serial print three spaces and so forth <coughs> excuse me part of what you're not I'm not going to illustrate here is going to do the serial print business you'll see in a slide about two sli next slide I think anyway the value of CH on which we defined earlier as 5000 it will switch it on it will wait five seconds and after five seconds it will turn the charge on LED off and then it will um, turn off the MOSFET um, now back up to here this that was commented out CH on equals CP minus Y times a hundred okay this is what's going to happen here is I'm gonna if this is uncommented that is it'll override the 5000 that you defined earlier and we'll calculate a different C, um, CH on but charge on value it's going to subtract Y the battery voltage um, from CP and that's going to give me a val positive value that I'm going to multiply times 100 so if CP is 310 and, uh, and let's say the battery uh, V battery comes out to 300 that's going to be a difference of 10 10 times 100 is a thousand it's going to cut on for one second down here in delay 
And as the battery gets more and more charged up, and as it approaches CP, the on time is going to be less and less and less. And, and what you're going to do, what this actually does, is once in a while if the battery just happens to drop below CP, it'll give it a slight kick, maybe as uh, low as a 100 millisecond shot to keep the charge up. This would extend battery life. Okay, we're pretty well done with this. We've done a lot of serial print statements. Um, let's see if we can find out what's been going on with them. In this case, I showed you earlier that there was an RS-232 connection on my Arduino board. Well, this is a um, USB to RS-232 and an RS-232 adapter that fits this board. This runs back to my laptop. And while this is charging, um, it will re I can read the status of VN, V battery, charge point, and even current which I'll get to shortly. Here, let's blow that up just a bit for you. All right, this is what you will see on Arduino serial monitor. There's my charge point, 310. There's my volt, there's your integer value multiplied by that value I told you, I think it was 0.041. I know the voltage it is 16.89, 325, um, VBAT is 13.33. If you were looking at the box right now, the green LED would be on because it's obvious 325 is greater than charge point. That's simple. And this is what you would read. I didn't... Uh, show you what you would read from the current because I took that part of it out and I'll show you that next.